Google Cloud's Anthos helps support companies in modernizing their services in hybrid and multi-cloud environments. But what does the stack actually look like, and what use cases does it solve? Join us as we talk to Arctic about how they implemented a hybrid cloud environment on this episode of Stack Chat. Thanks so much for joining us, Kyle. Tell us a little bit more about what Arctic does. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, Arctic is focused on services, and we're born in cloud, and focused on helping developers get code in production, and all the things that go around that. And most of the time, we're spending that with enterprises, so helping them, you know, solve that culture condition problem of moving from their old world to cloud and all this automation and everything that comes with it is we're helping enable them and getting them to be successful. So tell us a little bit more about this specific infrastructure. Yeah, so this particular customer we worked with, um, they have a traditional application. It's been a, they've uh, made it a microservices. It's cloud native. It runs in GCP and, and GKE, um, and it's very successful in that. But they've got customers that have challenges around um, locality, data residency, things like that. So they may have to deploy in a, a region where there isn't a Google Cloud, or they don't have good network uh, connectivity. So for them, they've had to manage that in the past of deploying homegrown Kubernetes environments in those places and trying to manage them and trying to keep them updated and patched and you know, it's a tough job to be able to manage these things. So um, they're looking for a common experience and a, and a way to take all the automation and all the good things they've done in cloud and be able to apply that into their on-prem offering and most importantly, offer a consistent experience that is easy to support and then the customer's not getting a lackluster um, you know, experience just because it's not in cloud anymore. So it's that, that's really what's given them the agility to be able to do this. Okay, so if they've got their kind of, their home base in the cloud, but then they've got all these different customers in different places, and there's no commonality between uh, some of those environments, then as you said, it's a pretty difficult thing to manage. Uh, I hear that Anthos kind of played a big part in, in helping standardize this environment. So what does that actually look like? Yeah, so this customer was leveraging homegrown Kubernetes in many cases, and when they saw Anthos, their interest was, could we take Anthos and that reference architecture, apply it into our customer scenarios, but leverage our exact same CI/CD pipeline, all our same Helm templates, all those charts that we've been leveraging, and deploy on there, without having to replatform all their deployment every time? So they looked at that as a real game changer for them, to be able to go to market and solve some of these customer challenges that they haven't been able to solve yet. So um, we started the project and built the architecture around this. We deployed um, you know, a VMware cluster in uh, Berlin and got that up and running. And then it was taking all the, the lessons learned in cloud. So they were using cloud build, they were using GCR, they were using a lot of those um, rapid cloud tools. So really all we had to do was get those artifacts now into their private stack and be able to deploy against Anthos. So um, you know, within a couple weeks, we were able to stand all this up, put it through performance testing. It was a real lesson learned and the biggest impact was can we take this common experience and make this on-prem deployment look just like another deployment region that was the real goal right so now they've got all of these environments that are kind of like offshoots of their core environment but they all look pretty much the same and then they roll out the code the same way they were kind of rolling it out before but now it's easy to roll it out to all of those yeah, it really is that perfect hybrid story because that's the deployment region is, is the end state code after it's tested, that's where it's gonna run, but they still have to do a, a innovation and, and testing and put new features in. So that's where the cloud comes in handy for them. So they're able to spin up clusters on demand and we started looking at things like config management for them and helping them you know, gitify all that workflow, but they can spin up clusters on demand in GKE, do all their testing, tear it back down. Once they get a release ready, they can push that release out to that on-prem environment and it's all just through standard automation framework so it takes away the whole like worrying about a, a maintenance window or doing it on Sunday they can roll out changes and be really rapid and really agile in their development cycle so even though they've kind of made all the other environments uh, common to the kind of their home environment how do they keep them in sync well, keeping them in sync is one of the big things we've been looking at is doing everything through policy, so policy management, and that's one of the things config management part of Anthos brings to the table, is instead of people going in and making manual changes to customer or to clusters, why isn't it done through a Git workflow or a PR process and a peer review? And when that gets um, approved, it gets pushed out. And not just to one cluster, you can do that to many clusters, you can also do it to clusters on-prem or in cloud. 
The other piece it gives them is they can add extra things that they're concerned about, like security frameworks, or if they're doing custom Istio uh, rule sets, their developers, they can start to make sure that that framework is spread across all the environments, and then that um, steps up the audit capability, the compliance side. So when someone comes and says, how are you managing these things? They're able to build a report and say, this is all driven from source. Look at the Git log, and that's how we manage our infrastructure. And it's all the same across all those environments because the, the kind of the unified config management makes it easy to roll out. Yeah, even down to if someone jumps on with elevated access and makes a, a manual change to a cluster, that drift that usually happens, um, config manager will change it back. But if you put time into building the policies, and then developers can focus on writing code, and the security teams can focus on making sure that that code is of the quality. So if everyone puts time into this, it just comes through a pipeline, and it all drives the quality, and people in various departments, and more imp most importantly, developers can focus on developing and releasing at a high velocity. And their customers just get to focus on using the same stable application that now they kind of feel more confident in because the, the, the parent company kind of has that responsibility of making sure it works everywhere. Yeah, in the end, the customer just wants to uh, be able to you know do their job and they're buying this software and, and they want to know that they have the trust that it's going to be up because you know a lot of these are billing based application it's like the revenue generating side of the business so they're looking at it as a managed service but they've got constraints that they have to be on prem but they need to know that when new packages or new updates come they don't have that worry that they're going to have to you know go through a lot of pain or an outage to their customer which isn't good obviously so as you were kind of helping them roll out this entire architecture, what would you say kind of the biggest hurdle that you jumped over was? I would say just standardizing all the configuration. Um, this particular customer spent a lot of time putting the work in and knowing that you know they could do it manually to get it working once, they actually put the time into automating it all and testing it, which really pays off in folds as you start to scale. Um, so that was one of the challenges we took, is just getting that exact workflow they were using in cloud and applying it and finding the pipeline for on-prem. Obviously there were some security restrictions around networking and access. Um, we had to deploy an on-prem registry and find a way to sync all the images down so we have that workflow. Um, so the biggest thing is they put the time in and we worked with them to enhance it and then now they're paying off in folds as they roll this out. As they move forward um, to push this and scale their business, they don't have a lot of technical debt. It's all documentation is living, it's all in the Git repo. Thanks so much for coming in and showing us how you actually kind of built this architecture with this customer to support kind of all of their own customers. Yeah, so thanks for having us. We're really looking forward to rolling out Anthos to more customers and getting it out in the market. Get Anthos ready by checking out this quick lab on modernizing and deploying your application with GKE. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content. We'll see you next time on Stack Chat.